Chill, all right, chill. Your mom's in the case now. No, she should have been here by now. Well, what if she's in court? If she's going to sue Connie and Manny for selling her book, it could take some time. <laughs> There's no way she could have gotten a hearing on the first day, but I don't know. I mean, maybe she's filing papers or... Uh, here she is. Mom, did you file papers? Can we sue Connie for stealing the book? We didn't file anything yet. Why? Connie stole my book. You mean this book? The Kama Sutra is less graphic. What's the Kama Sutra? Pornography, Molly. Pornography, Molly. And I am not filing anything until we discuss what you've done or please go what you haven't done. How could you write something so explicit? Hey, we got a big problem, Chief. You don't even start with me, all right? Possession is nine-tenths of the law, and this is this is 90% my desk. Now and, listen and to me. You can keep all that crap, because I don't think you're going to need it in prison. Prison? We got a big problem. Johnny. Every ten seconds, it's, hey, Johnny, get me a sandwich, or I'm going to turn you in. Hey, John, fill out this paperwork, or everybody's going to know what you did. Hey, John, clean my panties, because if you don't, I'm going to tell everybody what you did to those three kids. Well, you know what? I'm hey, fine. Hey, all right, Johnny, jeez. Oh, okay, I'll back off. You're going to back off? No, you're not, because you don't know how to back off. So we got a little situation here. And the only way I can find myself out of this purgatory of a marriage is if I confess. So you know what? That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Mr. Zakara, you have requested my services? Come in, please. Thank you. What has that fascinating wife yours done this time? It's, it's not about Connie, it's me. What I've done. Do I smell bacon? And eggs and coffee and toast. Oh, well, I don't know if I should thank you or bust you. You have to stop making me breakfast. But I thought you loved my cooking. But yeah, I do. It's, I also like having you here, okay? So you don't have to keep waiting on me. No, but I probably wouldn't bother with the bacon if it were just me, and you'd give me a good excuse. Oh, thank you. I wish I could sit down and eat with you, but I gotta meet with AJ. Talk about ELQ. Okay, wait, but... Before you leave, there's something you need to know. Michael, good, you're here. Come on in. Yes, again. House. Actually, Tracy showed us that. You got something to say to me? Say it quick. I got a meeting. This won't take long, Junior. Oh, oh great. What? What? Now you're going to have your goon beat me up? Wasn't it enough that you sent me to the hospital? Why don't you, uh, take a look at this? Oh, what's this? My phone. Great. So Michael sent you a text message. So what? Read it. Out loud. Dad, I'm coming to the gym to see you. We need to talk. Again, so what? Check the time and date. Sonny, you have something to say. Just say it. You knew Michael was going over to the gym. You set me up, AJ. Well, you sure just can't wait? I mean, age will only take like a couple hours. No, no, no. Um, it's really waited long enough, and I think you should sit down. Okay. Sounds serious. Well, I wanted to tell you about it the other night at the hospital, but then AJ interrupted, and ever since then it hasn't... Felt like the right time. Okay, so tell me. It's about what we saw when we walked into the gym. My dad beating up AJ? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, that must have been pretty hard for you to see. Yeah, no, it, it was it was awful, but that's not what I'm it's, I'm trying to talk to you it's about. It's pretty bad. My dad loses it like that. AJ knows that Sonny has a temper, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's not the first time my dad's been after him, it's just the first time I've seen him. Okay, so AJ would know which buttons to push in order to set Sonny off. Yeah, probably. What are you, what are you trying to say? I think that AJ goaded your dad into beating him. Why would he do that? Because he knew you were going to walk in and see it. Isn't that your book? About a girl that goes to Maine to get a job in a diner and then she runs a place from a woman with a son. Yeah, but where did you get it? From the publisher, I decided to find out what my bright, enterprising teenage daughter is writing. And you can imagine my surprise when I read it and it's riddled with sex. 
What? How did you even learn about stuff like that? Don't look at me. I didn't teach her anything, not one thing, I swear. Mom, look, I know what you get when it comes to me and biology, but there's no need to exaggerate. I mean, yeah, the novel is romantic. I wanted to write a love story, but riddled with sex? Every chapter is one escapade after another, more graphic than the other. I got to the canoe part. I thought I'd pass out. What are all the stickies? Let's just call them hot spots. Hot spots? But he doesn't even kiss her until chapter 13. That's because he's doing everything else to her. And then she does it to him. Oh, my God. I did not write that. I mean, I, I wrote the story, but not all the escapades. Lust in Maine? And that's not even my title. My title was Love in Maine. It was, I swear. Lust was nowhere in the title or anywhere in the book. So you don't know about any of those hot spots? Connie. Connie. Connie? She did it. Connie Falconeri sexed up my book. I was having such a good day. You know, my latest incompetent assistant actually got me what looks like a pretty good bag. He's here. growing a conscience, Todd. Well, that's awful. Wait, who is? Johnny is. He's starting to feel bad about running over those people. By those people, you mean my granddaughter and my daughter's boyfriend? Yes. And Johnny killed him, not me. Which is the problem, because the guilt is starting to eat at him. You know, I, I was worried about that, too. I, I, I thought he might squeal. In fact, I, I heard him almost blurt something out to Carly. Uh, what is it with him and that woman? Who knows? You mean, why would he even think about Carly when he has an angel like you in his bed? Uh -huh. I guess there's no accounting for taste. Well, that would explain her interest in you. You think Carly's interested in me? Uh... You don't need to worry about Johnny, okay? I sat him down. I made it very clear what would happen to him if he came forward. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that, Todd. Because I think... Johnny's getting ready to rat himself out as we speak. Well, first, let me assure you that anything you say to me is covered under attorney-client privilege. However, <clears throat> my time is billable, so it would behoove you to tell me exactly what you did, succinctly and truthfully. What would be the point of lying to my own lawyer? Yes, indeed, but you would be surprised at how many people do exactly that. Seems they don't want to confront the gravity of their transgressions. However, spinning the crime for the jury is my job. Your job is to tell me what you did. Plainly, truthfully, because I cannot do my job unless I know exactly what it is that I am dealing with. So, proceed. It's about the night that Anthony got his tires shot out. The night that Star Manning lost her daughter and her boyfriend. Hey, hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you said that this had nothing to do with your wife, but Connie has already confessed to shooting out Anthony's tire. I don't know, Connie copped to it, but she didn't do it. I did. Would you mind repeating that? You heard me. I shot out Anthony's tires, I killed those people. I, I gotta turn myself in. Look, I, I read Molly's book. There's none of that escapade stuff in it, right? It's innocent, like she said. And the good news is that you got it back. You're right. Thanks, Mom. I can definitely reconstruct my novel from this. I just have to take out all the hot spots. I'm sorry, honey. I should have known you wouldn't write anything like that. I mean, you don't even know about stuff like that. Do you? Now all we have to do is take Connie to court. Hopefully we won't have to. We'll reach a settlement. Now I'm going to go over there and talk to Connie and Mr. Matt. Have you met Connie Falconer? She's not going to negotiate with you, Mom. Well, maybe she'll negotiate with the owner of the conglomerate that notes the publisher. Mr. Manning? No, he already took Connie's side. He says it's business. He doesn't care who wrote the book just as long as it sells. You give your mother a little credit. I know what I'm doing. I have no trouble taking on the manuscript purloiners. What are you doing? I know. Just taking a little look. Uh, checking out the damage Connie did, you know. Johnny's gonna confess since when? Since last night. So, oh, wait, hold on. Your husband <laughs> threatened to come clean last night, and you're just telling me about this right Max, now? I don't, I don't think he's done do it yet. Do you not have a cellular telephone? I don't know if he's gonna okay, do so it. You, you think he's going to chicken out? Wouldn't you? No, I... What? I would never even dream of coming forward, but then again, I'm a lot smarter than Johnny Zakar. Okay, right? look, Johnny has threatened to tell before, Todd, but last night was different. He was he was gonna snap. He almost killed me with the paperweight. We gotta come up with the plan, boss. Okay, if I'm your boss, those are in fact my sticky notes. Doc, if Johnny goes to the cops, then you and I are in deep. <laughs> 
Why would Connie claim that she shot out Anthony's tires when you did it? We made a deal. You paid Connie Falconeri to take a fall? Well, that's that's actually quite brilliant, considering her state of mind. You could have assumed that the courts I didn't pay Connie a happen. dime. Okay, fine. Well, we can sit here and watch the minutes tick by, or you can tell me why your wife confessed to a crime she didn't commit. Doesn't matter. She didn't do it. I did. What I'm hoping is you can help me negotiate the terms of my surrender. Your surrender. Your front page news surrender. You help me or not, Diane. Can I help you what? Confess? No, I can't help you confess. I can, however, insist on terms. You have just admitted that you're the one who shot out Anthony's tires. Anthony was driving the car, causing it to swerve and hit the car, carrying Star Manning's family. Now, they died in the commission of a crime, which makes it a felony murder. And then, of course, there's your grandfather. What about him? Well, you've already claimed to trying to kill him once. Did you ever succeed? The police know that Heather Weber buried Anthony's body, but they've never been able to find who actually killed him. Was it you? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Johnny, Anthony is one thing. I can argue abuse. I can argue that you were in fear for your life. It's all true. However, the accident which killed Cole Thornhart and his daughter is something yet again. I never meant to hurt them, okay? Yes, but you fired at them from a moving vehicle. There is a special attachment related to gang-related crimes. That ups it to murder with special circumstances, a.k.a. murder one. You could go away for the rest of your life. Are you sure you want to do this? 